This is Rob with Joe Water. Let me give you a quick overview of how your reverse osmosis system works. So we start over here with the well um, feed water. So your well system typically has a pressure tank, a pressure switch, and is feeding water up and into the RO system. This is what we call the well side, and the RO system is past this. From the RO system, it goes through a pre-filter that needs to be changed about once a month to be able to keep it clean and keep the system performing well. And then goes into the booster pump here, which pressurizes the water, and into the membranes, which are the white tubes in the back. There's either one or two or sometimes more membranes. Those are what separate the good water from the bad water. Bad water goes down the drain, good water ends up in your storage tank. So the job of the RO is to take the well water, separate the good and the bad, put the good water in the storage tank. From there, the water stays in the storage tank uh, until it's used by the house. Now, the way that the system knows when it needs to fill the tank is with a float at the top of the tank that goes up and down, and when the water level gets too low, the float kicks on the machine. The machine always stays in run mode, and if you ever have an overflowing tank, you can turn it to off and it will stop adding water to the tank, but still allow you water in the house. Because the float is in control, we leave it at run all the time and it only turns on when the float goes down. On this side of the system, coming out of the storage tank, you will have a pump. Some are green, some are black, some are red, but this is a variable speed pump that controls the pressure into the house. That's why it doesn't need a pressure tank. It um, automatically turns on and off when there's flow into the house. If the pump is constantly running, that means that you're using water somewhere in the house. If you don't think you're using water, check your outside spigots. You don't want the pump to run all the time because it can overheat and burn up. The pump pushes the water from the tank through two additional filters. The first is a calcite filter. This balances the pH of the water and adds central minerals back into the water. And the second is a carbon filter, which does final polishing, removing any contaminants that were um, in the storage tank, and then it goes off to the house. And in this case, you can see there's a line going straight into the house from here. The only thing you should need to do with either of these two tanks is uh, they can be set into bypass, so the water goes around the tank instead of into it. And we do that by turning these two valves to point at each other. Normally, they should be pointing uh, at and away from you. Otherwise, that's the whole setup. Um, the only other thing that is a regular maintenance item or that may occasionally come up is if the tank does run out of water, your variable speed pump may go into error mode, in which case you want to just unplug it until the screen turns off for a good full 30 seconds. Even after unplugging it, sometimes the screen stays on for a, um, a minute or so. Wait until that um, comes all the way off, plug it back in, and you will, uh, the pump will start back up and you'll be ready to go.